From North Carolina to Florida, the Gullah Geechee Heritage Corridor extends 12,000 square miles. But the cultural influence of the Gullah Geechee people extends far beyond that when it comes to food, music, mm -hmm. and as News 2's Colby Thielen found out, language. He joins us now live in studio. Colby? Good morning. 92 years ago in Darien, Georgia, folk music archivist Robert Gordon Winslow captured a song for the Library of Congress. Its lyrics, like many other words, are a contribution to American life from Gullah Geechee speakers. Through the clicks and pops of the 1926 cylinder recording come the lyrics most learn but likely don't know. Almost every American grows up singing Kumbaya. Actually, what he was saying was, come by here. The singer, Henry Wiley, was a Gullah Geechee speaker. Heather Hodges says it's just one example of the language that permeates the American lexicon. Most Americans aren't aware of the extent to which that Creole language has impacted the way we all speak. And other words like yam or tote, originally from West Africa. There were subsequent migrations out into places like New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and the people that migrated carried that particular language pattern with them. Thousands still speak the language. It's even being taught at Harvard. By Charleston native Sun Michelle. Remember, come here all the way for Abbott to teach on off and crack teeth like we are Gullah Geechee people, get it? Hodges says she was surprised when she heard it was being taught, but in the best kind of way. The Gullah Geechee language for so long was maligned, and the people who spoke it were encouraged to speak a more standard form of, of English. Um, so it gives people, I think, a great sense of pride to know that it's now being recognized for the unique language that it, that it is. Hodges says many traditions are mistaken for low country, southern, or more generally African American, but she says they're often Gullah Geechee specific. If you believe you may have Gullah roots, the corridor is hosting a genealogy seminar this Saturday. In studio, Colby Thielen, count on two.